Okay, so before we leave, before we go into the car, we're going to check out that chef. Seems like the Baron is in charge of this whole sandy dust storm place. There's always more, isn't there? chance to have a chat with the owners of this car. What a shame they're so <laughs> silent. Though, had I had a car like this, I wouldn't want to give it up either. In my book, driving beats walking in this heat any day. Which reminds me, you've got a good test drive opportunity. While you were playing in this sandbox, I found some antennas. And the communication center should okay. have them. Uh, I think it's at that lighthouse, so you should head there. The lighthouse is so huge, we can't miss it. All right, get out of the car. I have to stay and keep tabs on the area for a while, but once I'm done, I might join you there. Okay. See ya. See you, buddy. Thanks for the help. <laughs> yep, no matter what, every video game has its issues, has its bugs, has its glitches. Alright, sorry. Okay, so follow the road. Pretty much follow the road. Fucking sun, man, Jesus. You fucking dickheads! Fight so hard about having one easily brought with a whole gas! So I should kill that doctor's boys already? What if you continue sitting with your asses? She'll kill you all too! And come calling it my door! The tribals are already telling legends of that witch! And if you continue 
continue performing the way you just did, he will stop worshipping us too. They don't really give a fuck as to how you get out. Burn the whole island if you have to. But if you dare come back empty handed, you will be seen in both Sato come morning. Fucking crazy. As you were, everyone, the Baron has spoken. He seems angry. Okay, we're gonna go in here to the lighthouse because it seems like this is the way to go. Slave. I just can't anymore. Oh, you got fucked up. Oh, that would have hurt. You also got fucked up, mate. Jesus.
Oh, there we go. Got through the cave without killing any of them. I tried to do that stealthily, but sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Is that a bulldog? I think that's a bulldog. The bulldog, I've been told, is probably one of the best assault rifles in the game. Or well, what, what I read, I mean. Yep, I'm not killing him. Ah, I kill you now. Ah. You killed my enemies, so I think you're a friend. Doors blocked. Wait till I lower the okay. lift. my friend, the Moon Eye by Lair, as we call them, turned my people into slaves. Wanted to put me in shackles too. <laughs> Better death.
Radio loud and clear. Your man helped me. I mean you're dead, but why are you here? For five years, nobody would come here save for Moon Eye by Lair. Kill them. What do you know of the antennas near your lighthouse? There used to be a comm center before the war. My mother worked there. She was an officer. The facility is long abandoned. I went there after war to look for mom's traces, but found nothing. if you need to fix something. There are all kinds of danger. A smart man wouldn't go there. You seem smart, but you do not have choice. Ready? No? Make haste then, we don't I'm have ready, much down. time. Charge this up. Before war, this place was beautiful. See, I was five then. My mom was young, alive. Now it's just desert. All the beasts changed into freaks. And the people became beasts. My people became chattel. Not by themselves. The oil dogs made them. The oil stayed even though the sea dried out. Old people died. Only the young remained, and they all obey their masters now. The Munai by Lair say they're gods of fire now, and the young believe. <sighs> Five years after the war, my mother died. I was all alone. He's dead, okay? I know that you're angry, but come on. I've got shit to do. Let's go. I know how to open the door, so I've been there. But I never went deep. There are oh, spiders. Joy. <laughs> See the passage? You go through. Okay, give me a second.